How to recover your losses in cryptocurrency, Blocktopia Loss Recovery. The cryptocurrency market has been in a recession right now, and one token that has been gaining attention is Block. Investors have been in a frenzy as the values of various cryptocurrencies go down. So, how to recover the losses made, especially in Block? Keep watching to find out. To honor 21 million Bitcoins, the Blocktopia Metaverse is a skyscraper with 21 levels. Blocktopia contains everything a person could possibly need to know about cryptocurrency and NFTs. Visitors will participate in basic or advanced learning from some of the industry's top minds, earn revenue, play games with friends, build networks, etc. Consider Blocktopia to be a shopping mall where instead of just retail, each store showcases a different project, exchange, influencer, or crypto brand's content and key messages. 200 plus virtual stores, an auditorium for live talks and seminars, a gaming floor, and a variety of event spaces are among the highlights. While cryptocurrency has spent the last decade soaring and making many people millionaires, other owners of the world's largest cryptocurrency have missed out. Why? One major reason is they no longer have access to their account. It is estimated that more than $100 billion in cryptocurrency has been lost, some of which is recoverable. According to a 2017 report, between 2.78 million and 3.79 million crypto coins were lost. This is based on a total supply of nearly 19 million tokens currently in circulation and a maximum supply of 21 million tokens when Bitcoin is fully mined. That could amount to roughly 20% of today's supply being permanently depleted at the extreme. Or is it? Let's look at how your trapped crypto can be retrieved from a locked digital wallet. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, or popular cryptocurrencies could all be stored on a hard drive somewhere. NFTs or non-fungible tokens, which could be digital art, a collectible, music, or something else, are also becoming increasingly trapped. All of these are potentially recoverable. According to the crypto investors or experts, the typical success story at crypto asset recovery involves an early Bitcoin adopter with a blockchain crypto wallet. More than half of what they see are wallets. An early collector may have bought a few coins and then forgotten about them. However, with a single Bitcoin now trading for large sums of money, even a few coins could be a nice haul. Once contacted, Crypto Asset Recovery consults with customers, solicits their best password guesses, and gets to work. So even if you only know a portion of your password or have a hazy idea of what it might be, your chances of recovering your lost crypto assets increase significantly. The team then attempts to brute force your account by trying various potential passwords based on your suggestions. We could run tens of millions to hundreds of billions of password variations before we get it, or we might decide it's not worth putting more computational resources into it. Watch out for scammers advertising asset recovery services. Given the sensitivity of the work, you may have to entrust an asset recovery firm with potential passwords to your cryptocurrency account, which you also may be using elsewhere. The prospect of regaining access to lost bitcoins may entice even the most cynical owner to relax their guard around those who promise to assist them in recovering their funds. But of course, that's simple if you have hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars stashed away in a digital wallet somewhere. However, officials warn consumers to vet any asset recovery firm they hire thoroughly. Many purported firms are scammers who gain access to your account and then steal the proceeds, assuming they can even access your account. In addition, they may charge you a fee up front to do the work with the promise that you will eventually receive your cryptocurrency and then run away with it. According to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, the scams are extremely sophisticated. CFTC. Scammers may even use fake press releases and testimonials that appear to endorse their asset recovery services. Officials point out several red flags that consumers should be aware of. Firstly, before any services are provided, you are charged a fee. The firm's physical address is not provided or located outside the United States. The company does not have a phone number, so you must communicate via chat apps. 
In addition, the firm requests your bank account information so that the recovered funds can be deposited there. These are some of the most important warning signs, but the CFTC also provides other warning signs and safety tips. Here are three common ways crypto traders lose access to their coins. Cryptocurrency has grown in popularity in recent years, and it's a popular trading vehicle for many young people who are new to investing. According to a recent bank rate survey, nearly half of millennial Americans are at least somewhat comfortable with cryptocurrency ownership. However, regardless of age, crypto traders may be unfamiliar with the various ways these digital assets can be held, resulting in them locking themselves out of their accounts. Cryptocurrency owners can lose access to their assets in a variety of ways, including the following. To begin with, Many do not fully comprehend how custody works. Unlike traditional assets such as stocks or bonds, which are always held for you at a brokerage, cryptocurrency can be held directly by owners using a cryptocurrency wallet or held on your behalf by a trading firm. However, this distinction is critical in recovering your assets. If a company has custody of your digital assets, you can use its system to regain access to them. In this regard, it is similar to a traditional investment firm. You can confirm your identity and the company will reset your password and you'll be good to go. However, if you take control of your digital assets, you will not have that luxury. Unfortunately, many newcomers to cryptocurrency are unaware of when they have taken custody of their assets and the responsibility that entails. You'll need your seed phrase, which is a collection of 12 to 24 words generated by your crypto wallet to access your self-custodied assets. Because of the risks of holding assets yourself, experts strongly advise those new to cryptocurrency to use a custodial wallet. With a custodial wallet, you could easily contact your trading firm and gain access to your cryptocurrency. Before diving in, understand what is required to manage a Bitcoin wallet. Second, you may have misplaced your seed phrase. According to the experts of crypto, people misunderstand the risks associated with cryptocurrency. The much more likely risk for most people is losing their seed phrase, not having it stolen from a hacker, though that does happen. The most common misunderstanding that leads to trouble does not understand that the seed phrase is a representation of your private key. You're in big trouble if you lose that. He claims that many people are unaware of the significance of the seed phrase. The seed phrase unlocks your wallet as well as all your cryptocurrency. As a result, it's critical that you keep this seed phrase handy. It's not like that they can simply reset the password on a bank account. They say that moving is a common time for people to forget their seed phrases, but there is a simple solution. Buy a $30 safe from Amazon and keep your seed phrases in there. You need somewhere to keep them so that no one thinks, hey, I need to throw this away. Finally, there is a self-sabotage. One of the most difficult challenges we face is client self-sabotage. Self-sabotage occurs when people attempt to solve problems on their own and end up making things worse. We can work with about 30 to 40% of the people who have hard drive issues from an old laptop. For example, they reformatted it or gave it away. But the solution is simple. Stop touching stuff. Don't reformat or reinstall a wallet. Resist the urge to try to fix something because you will almost certainly make it worse. Talking about Blocktopia price prediction, Block has remained close to the support level after breaking the descending white trend line upwards. It completed its horizontal movement in this region by breaking through the $0.026 resistance in recent days, but it was unable to stay above this level. This region, where it is currently moving at, is $0.0026 levels. Destek. He appears to be attempting to obtain it. In the short term, the resistance levels of $0.028, $0.030, and $0.0338 can be followed for confirmation of the rise if the upward movement continues. On the contrary, if the $0.026 support is broken, the rising white trend line can be tested again as a support zone. 
In the short term, hourly closings below the zone may accelerate sales up to $0.022. While it appears that a significant portion of cryptocurrency has been lost to the sands of time, your crypto stash may not be one of them. So it might be worth your time to see if you can recoup your losses. And it's always worthwhile to understand what you need to do to properly manage your account in order to avoid problems in the future. Make sure to like and subscribe for more interesting videos on all things cryptocurrency.